everyone. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> uh, good morning. I hope you're out there. It's Mousy and I, once again, coming right into your homes to do a little baby time. So we're gonna give it a second and let uh, people log on if they're logging on this morning. I know a lot of you guys are watching this later, which is awesome. Yeah, put my do not disturb on. All right. So uh, I am Miss Jen. I'm from the Statesboro Bullock County Public Library. Uh, this morning, Mousy and I are going to do a little bit of baby time live. This is some great interactive time for caregivers and little babies. It helps promote their uh, development in terms of small motor skills, fine motor skills, also uh, speaking, hearing, listening, comprehension, all that good stuff. So good morning. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, you guys. Uh, oh, I do want to take a second because we've been getting a few questions. I want to make sure everyone knows that the library is open. Now, it's not open like flung open our doors and everyone gets to come in and touch everything. Uh, but it is open for curbside pickup. So if you are out there and you are in need of books, we are here and we are here to help. So our staff is in the library every day now uh, and you can put holds on books and pines or if you are not sure what you're looking for, um, you just know your kid likes these things and um, or if you just want us to pick some things for you. I know it's hard because a lot of times we like to browse, but if you don't like to browse or you don't know what to look for, you can call the library. You can call us. Um, I think it's hit three for kids, but don't <laughs> don't quote me on that. Um, but if you talk to the kids staff, you can tell us how old your child is, where they're reading at, uh, and we can put together a bundle of books for you that will hopefully meet your needs. Uh, and we are doing uh, curbside pickup, so it's contactless pickup, so you can just roll up to the library, call us, we put your books out on the back porch, and you just come grab them. So, I hope you guys are taking advantage of that, because I know we all need lots of books in our lives, and I don't know how you guys are doing, but I'm slowly reading through everything that I have <laughs> in the house, so. Oh, good morning, good morning, Mary and Cora. All right, are you guys ready to get ready? Are you ready to get ready? Are you ready to do some songs? All right, let's start off with our Well Hello Everybody song. That's one of our that's one of our main starter songs because it teaches us our body parts and we learn how to point to them. So let's do Well Hello Everybody and we'll start with our noses. Ready? Okay. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers. Well, hello everybody, can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle your fingers. Well, hello everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Well, hello, everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Yay! Yay! Good job, Mousy. You're getting very good at learning all of your body parts. Like these. What are these? Are those ears? They are ears. Can you find your ears? Mousy's ears are very big, but where are your ears? Yeah, they're right there. Good job, everybody. All right, I think it's time for a morning tickle. So let's do a little bit of, what do we want to do? Let's do going on a treasure hunt. We haven't done that one in a while, right? So going on a treasure hunt. And this is a great one. You can do this holding baby if baby's up or little is standing. You can do this on their back. So I'll kind of model it like I'm doing it on a back. But remember this one is just kind of like drawing on the backs and we're doing a little on their skin, giving them the shivers. 
So it just goes, going on a treasure hunt, X marks the spot, and then we do big circle, little circle, dot, dot, dot. Cool breeze, tight squeeze, now you've got the shivers! Yay! Yay! All right, now we're nice and woken up, right? Everybody's up and ready. Good morning. All right, let's do a little bit of a bounce. We always like to do a bounce. Let's do one of our classic bounces. Let's do a little smooth road. We like this one. Remember, this one does involve a lift, so if you want to do that part, maybe get yourself into a position where you are comfortable and you can do that. Um, but also, remember for this one, this is a great one to do if you're sitting up. You can just open up your knees and drop baby down instead of having to lift up. Okay, ready? Here we go. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Oh no, look out! It's a hole! Jump! Did you make it? I hope so. Should we keep going? I think so. All right, everybody back in our cars, or our trucks, or our vans, or, and then we're gonna put on our seatbelt. All right, here we go, ready? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Oh no, look out! It's a hole! Jump! Whee! Oh, good job! Good job, Mousy! Nice work! Oh, were you guys nervous when we saw that hole? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, we run into obstacles, right? And we need maybe help. We have our parents help lift us sometimes. Well, today's sign, baby sign of the day, is help. So we are gonna learn how to do that one. And it's a thumbs up with one hand and your other hand is flat. And it's kind of like lifting for help. So if you need help, and when we ask if they need help, parents, we can use the sign and try to teach it to them so that we sort of connect this motion with that word and our assistance, but it's just down here and then you lift them together. So do you need help? Do you need help? So we're driving along in our car, we're doing a little smooth road and then we come to a hole and we say, do you need help? So that's our sign for the day. We've been doing really well with our signs. We've learned apple and banana, milk and water, right? We know more. You know, thank you. Now we know the sign for help. Help. All right. Mousy, what do you want to do right now? Oh, yeah. Mousy wants to do Itsy Bitsy Spider. Do you guys want to do Itsy Bitsy Spider with us? Yay. All right. Let's get our fingers working. Got to get them ready. Remember, we're, we're learning how to do this, and it can be hard, but we want our finger to our thumbs and then we turn and walk them up like this, right? Okay, so let's give it a try. See how we're doing. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Now the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job, everybody. Good job. Do you want to try that one again? One more time? One more time? One more? Okay, here we go. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Now the itsy bitsy spider went up 
the spout again. Yay! Yay! Good job, Mousy. You're getting so good at Itsy Bitsy Spider, and you guys out there are getting very good at it too. All right, we're gonna keep going, working on our finger strength and our, and our small motor skills, and we're gonna do a little bit of a new finger play. We learned, I think the last two weeks, we've done five fat peas, right, in the pea pod press, which is a good one, but we're gonna add one more to our repertoire so that we can keep working. This one is called 10 Little Chicks, and it's very simple and very easy. If you have a baby, baby who's sort of not ready for this, once again, this is just a great time to play with their fingers, help them differentiate between the different ones, um, just squeezing however is working for you. And also, if you want to do this for them, um, this is a great one. They can sort of watch and follow, see how you're doing it. All right, so this is called 10 Little Chicks, and it's really simple. It just goes five eggs, so we do our five, and five eggs. And that makes 10. Can you guys do that? All right, so here we go. Five eggs and five eggs, and that makes 10. And then we say, sitting on top is mother hen. So we're gonna make a fist, and we're gonna cover with our other hand. And then we're gonna hear something, and it's a crack, crack, crack. Can you do that? You're gonna hit and you're gonna go crack, crack, crack. It's like if the egg is cracking, <laughs> okay? And it says, what do I see? <gasps> 10 little chicks, as cute as can be. All right, are we ready to try that one all together? Okay, here we go. Five eggs and five eggs, and that makes 10. Sitting on top is mother hen. Crack, crack, crack. What do I see? 10 little chicks as cute as can be. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Gotta get the wiggling in there. Good job, everybody, yay! All right, so now we've got some good finger plays throughout the week to practice our finger strength. Get ready, all that pre-writing stuff is important. All right, Mousy, you've been wiggling here, so I think that means maybe we need to get a few wiggles out. Do you guys wanna get some wiggles out? Let's stand up and do our elevator song. Okay, all right, so this is a good one. We get up, we get moving around. Uh, parents, this is a lift song, so however you want to do it, you can go up, down, up, down. I'm going to model today for you as if I was someone who would hurt my back <laughs> and can't do a lot of lifting today, so uh, follow me if you want the easy way. All right, otherwise you guys can just do up, down, however you want, so. All right, it goes. Oh, the city is great, the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land, and they live high up on the 57th floor. And this is what they do when they open the door. They take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and they turn around. <gasps> All right, one more time, ready? Oh, the city is great, and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land, and they live high up on the 57th floor. And this is what they do when they open the door. They take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And they turn around. Yay! Good job, everybody. Good job. 
All right, do we wanna keep going with the wiggles? You know what we haven't done in a long time, it seems like to me, is cuckoo clock. So let's do a little cuckoo clock this morning. All right, and this one is pretty simple. Uh, and for this one, it's a swing. So I'm gonna stand here, my legs wide, and I'm gonna swing baby in and up. All right, so uh, if you can't do that or you're not willing to do that right now, um, you can do hold, especially if you have a little baby where you just swing, right? Um, and if they just wanna jump up and down themselves, that's okay, they can be the cuckoo clock, right? All right, so this one is really simple. Um, and it starts out where we're down here and we're gonna do a little swing, like the swing of a, a clock pendulum, okay? And it just goes tick, tack, tick, tack. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tack, tick, tack. Now the time is one o'clock. And we reach down and we go, Good job, ready? Let's keep going. Tick, tack, tick, tack. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tack, tick, tack. Now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, one more time, here we go. Let's keep ticking. Tick, tack, tick, tack. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now the time is three o'clock. And here we go, we're gonna do it three times. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yay! Yay! Good, good job everyone. We got a little movement in. We're around so great all right I think it's time to do one of our favorites let's do a little hippopotamus so this is a nice bounce so get in a comfortable bouncing position whatever that is for you and let's do a little hippopotamus are you ready okay here we go a hip a hip a hippopotamus got on Got on, got on a city bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. All right. A cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus, and all, and all, and all the people fussed. Move over, move over. One more time, ready? A hip, a hip, a hippopotamus got on, got on, got on a city bus. And all, and all, and all the people said, you're squishing us. <laughs> a cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus. And all, and all, and all the people fussed. Move over, move over, yay, yay, good job, good job, Mousy, good job, everybody out there, good work. All right, we're learning, we're hearing, we're listening, we're hopefully trying to repeat some things and do some things that we do. So good job out there, everybody. I think that, oh, what is that, Mousy? Do you guys recognize this sign? Do you remember this baby sign? What does that mean? Yeah, it means that Mousy's tired. Mousy is tired, sleepy. So I think it's time for us to say goodnight to Mousy. Do you guys want to help me? Remember what Mousy's favorite song is? Yeah, it's Twinkle Twinkle. Okay, here we go, ready? If you're a big kid, get your twinklers ready out there. All right, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what 
lift you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are good job everybody you sang mousy to sleep i'm gonna put mousy down for his nap oh he stayed asleep good job everybody good job all right, thank you so much for coming to baby time this morning. I mentioned this at the very beginning, but just a reminder that the library is open for curbside pickup. So if you need books, uh, you need things to read to babies, uh, books about babies, <laughs> books just to read and escape <laughs> for yourself, uh, give us a call, 764-1341. Uh, if you call before two, you can arrange for same day pickup. Uh, you can also go onto the Pines app and just request any books that you want and we'll put a hold on it and pull it for you and give you a call when it's ready. All right, and don't forget to sign up for summer reading. <laughs> um, we love you guys, we miss you. Hopefully we'll see you in person soon, but I'm answering the phone someday. So if you call, you can talk to me. All right, bye guys, we love you, see you later.